What is up, players? Coming at you today, and we got a little bit of a little bit of a video. It's 2 a.m. I'm really tired. Had a long day on a long shoot. As you can see, a bunch of stuff here from the shoot earlier. I haven't even put it all the way yet. But you guys like the handheld shotgun mic? I don't have time to put up a, a what is it called? Lauren always calls it a boomstick. A boom pole. I just gotta plug it in and go. Cause it's 2 a.m. So I'm calling this my 2 a.m. tips. What am I even talking about right now? What is up guys? I'm coming at you right now with a video. I'm dumping footage right now. But I was looking at some of the footage, just wanted to check it out. I wanted to see how my second camera, my B camera looked because I had the Pocket 6K as my main camera, A6500 as my secondary camera. And I was shooting on my little crappy slider. I knew the footage wasn't gonna be that good, but I wanted to have some movement to it. I knew I could fix it with some stabilizing, right? Threw it in DaVinci, couldn't stabilize it. Threw it in Premiere, still didn't do well stabilizing it. Then I had a thought. I noticed that Premiere stabilization was just locking in on the face, it seemed like. Comment below if you know why it's doing this and what's going on behind Warp Stabilizer and Premiere. And so I thought, I wonder if I crop out the face and just show the background, because there's some background, because there's a picture frame and a couple things behind her, and then Premiere could just stabilize that. and wouldn't have to worry about the face. So if I crop it and then nest that sequence, I can stabilize that nested sequence. And then once that's finished, I can bring the original footage back in into that nest and that warp stabilizer will still be applied to that nest. And this hack worked out pretty well. So check out the results. So as you can see, warp stabilizer in Premiere just on the original footage is bouncing all around and moving back and forth with her face as her face moves. But check out the results with the hack. So here's the crop version. You can see that it stabilized perfectly and didn't even punch in very far. So then when I brought in the original footage back into the nested sequence, here's that result. As you can see, it's a lot smoother than the original, and this is actually really usable. And it looks like the slider move that I was actually going for. So guys, that's just a quick tip. If you're able to, you can crop out the things that Warp Stabilizer might be messing up and hanging up on. You just might get a better result. All right guys, so thanks for checking in on this 2 a.m. tutorial. I gotta go to bed now, but make sure you like the video if it's helped you. Leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you see all the new videos that are coming out at 2 a.m. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.